Psalm 128, The Predisposition of a God-Fearing Family to Find Contentment Psalm 128 appears to be an uplifting psalm, looking forward to the satisfaction found in the labor of one's own hands, the predisposition of a God-fearing family to find contentment. This wisdom psalm appears to be a family hymn, whether a song for marriage, or birth, or on any occasion when a blessed household has met to praise our Lord. Like all the psalms in this grouping, it has an eye on Zion and the psalmist asserts that reverence for our Lord is the foundation for all family blessings. As we look at the details in each verse, we will see that God blesses families, in verses 2 and 3, he does so in the form of progeny, when they will continuously venerate the Lord according to verse 1. In verses 4, 5, and 6 the psalm reiterates the blessedness of those who fear the Lord as God's blessing is poured out from Zion. In verse 6 the words of the psalmist appear to migrate to a time far in our future when the redeemed will see peace in Zion, along with their children's children. What cannot be overlooked in the framework of the psalm, is that it is intended to show the advantages of a family life dedicated to our Lord, which manifest themselves in familial relations, the godly character of the children are a godly satisfaction seen from the parents' virtuous behavior, passed on to future generations. The family with true piety is the family that holds our Lord in fear and trembling. The truly pious man is described as one that fears the Lord and walks in his ways. Psalm 34 11-14 offers this sound counsel, Come, children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who delights in life, living a long life to enjoy what is good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceitful speech. Turn away from evil and do what is good, seek peace and pursue it. HCSB While we covered the New Testament's application of this in the previous psalm, remember repetition is the mother of knowledge. Ephesians 6 1-3 Children, obey your parents as you would the Lord because this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life in the land. The family who observes obedience to the Lord will reap, sobriety and good judgment for both tend to promote a healthy and long life. Having said that, that is not always the case for we are all subject to the Lord's plan and God has a plan, a purpose, and timing for each of our lives, so the best that we can do is to live with an awesome respect for the power and righteousness of our Lord, then we can rest assured that it will go well for us in this land or in the New Jerusalem. The psalm appears to be positive, looking forward to the satisfaction found in the labor of one's own hands, the predisposition of a God-fearing family to find contentment. Whether we are thinking in terms of material wealth blessed by God, or the righteous characters of the authentic believer as revealed in their truthfulness, honesty, and integrity, all of these according to verse 5, tend to add years to our lives.